Building healthy churches begins right at the start, and that often means children. That's where all of us begin, and I'm reminded of Jesus' incredible words where he says, Let the children come to me, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. There's something about looking after children gets to the heart of God, and it's where it all begins, and it definitely helps create healthy churches. And so that's why we look after young people in this conference, and that's why my role specifically looks at young people. So some of the things that we do to make sure that young people are catered for, we've got camps, junior and teen camp, and sometimes primary camp, to make sure that children get to just meet other children, to be able to fellowship, to worship, to have adventures that just unlock their potential and their enthusiasm and their confidence for life. For leaders, because of course being children, they need some good strong leaders. And so we have um, Sabbath school resources, we have teaching tips every year for Sabbath school teachers. We also have the Big Ideas Tour, where I move around the conference for 11 days and I catch up with as many local churches as possible. And there, simply sit and listen and hear what's happening in local churches and pass on resources and ideas for our incredible, committed, dedicated children's ministry leaders. So that's some of the things we're doing, and then that's not even including Pathfinders and Adventurers. We've got Andrew West and Dale Hoken, two of our pastors who look after Pathfinders, which is an incredibly successful program in our conference. And again, it's all about growing young people in Christ. And so for all of this ministry and training for children and for children's ministry leaders, we've set the the theme, the title, Jesus First because there's only one platform, one foundation that actually sets our children up for success, and that's Jesus, Jesus first. And so to be able to help them meet him, grow in him, and to have a church community that loves them and nurtures that, that's why we do what we do. That is the beginning of a healthy Adventist church.